What's up, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're making the green bees, a cocktail using absinthe as the base spirit. <gasps> but don't worry, we're not gonna go crazy, we're not gonna hallucinate or have visions. Those are just all lies about absinthe. But maybe there's one thing I should warn you about. The green bees is a delicious cocktail and it goes down really easily, even though absinthe is a strong spirit. So if you abuse of the good things, maybe you should save a little piece of cucumber that we're gonna use today in the cocktail to help you go through the hangover tomorrow. You've been warned. So now let's make the green beast. The Green Bees was created in 2010 by Charles Vexenat, a French bartender who created the cocktail for Pernod Ricard while a bar exhibition. It's kind of the evolution of one of the very few cocktails that involves absinthe as the main spirit, the absinthe frappe, which was just absinthe, sugar, water, garnished with a sprig of mint. But in the Green Bees, we upped the sugar content, balance that with lime juice and replace the mint by cucumber. It makes an amazing cocktail. It's not surprising, it became a modern classic so fast. There is actually many different ways you can make this cocktail. When you look at recipes online, you will find built right into the glass, shaken with cucumber, cucumber muddled, but back to when it was created, it was made for a large amount of people. So a big batch of cocktail with cucumbers steeping into it. So that's how the cucumber flavor was imparted into the drink. But today I was curious and I wanted to see if I was working for nothing. So I decided I would make two green beasts. One with absinthe that's been infusing for a little while with cucumber, and we're gonna build that one. And then we're gonna make one my way with shaken cucumber to see if it's worth the extra effort. So now for the ingredients, we're gonna need absinthe, simple syrup, cold water, lime juice, cucumber slices, and mint sprigs. This is not classic, but this is how I like it. So now let's make the cocktail. First, in a cocktail shaker, we're gonna pour one ounce or 30 ml of absinthe, one ounce or 30 ml of simple syrup, one ounce or 30 ml of cold water, and one ounce or 30 ml of lime juice. And then we're gonna add three cucumber slices. We're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. We're gonna fill a double rocks glass with ice. And we're gonna fine strain the cocktail over it. I like to top it up with a little bit of crushed ice. We're gonna garnish it with a beautiful mint bouquet. And of course, a little extra cucumber wheel. And there we go, this is how I make a green beast. But let's put it aside and quickly build the traditional one. In this one, there's already one ounce of absinthe that's been infusing with cucumber for about an hour. So we're simply gonna add a big block of clear ice in there. We're gonna add one ounce of simple syrup one ounce of lime juice, and two ounces of cold water. I'm gonna give it a quick stir to incorporate all the ingredients together. And there we go, the classic versus my version of the green bees. So now let's give them a try. Cheers. 
Mm. This is an amazing cocktail. It's super rich, complex, and refreshing at the same time. And there's something a little magical because of the absinthe. Every time I drink something with absinthe, I think it has probably something to do with the fact that it is so mystical and it was prohibited at one point in history. Every time I taste the absinthe, I feel like something special is happening and I really like it. And I must say, I'm actually quite surprised how cucumbery this version is. Um, I'm very curious to see how this one turns out because this one was very simple to make and it's quite tasty. So, let's see if uh, the extra effort was worth the squeeze. A okay. I didn't see that one coming at all. <laughs> I've been doing my green bees like that for long enough that I forgot how the classic way tasted like. And even if it hurts to admit it, my version doesn't taste more cucumbery. In fact, it tastes more minty. It's probably because the fact that the garnish, the mint garnish is so fragrant that it takes over and it actually just ruins the subtle notes of cucumber in the cocktail. So as is like that, the extra effort is just not worth it at all. But one question remains, if I do the exact same thing and stay away from the mint garnish, then would it taste more cucumbery? And I want to try it right in front of your eyes. Let's give it a try for a second tasting. No mint, cucumber, and absinthe. That's a green beast. That's good. Absinthe, cucumber, and freshness from the limes. Still not worth it to shake the cucumber with the absinthe in order to get more cucumber flavors, but it was good just different so guys if you like your mint you can do totally my way or simply add a little mint garnish to the classic way both will work just fine so guys that's it for me today thank you very much for watching i hope you're gonna like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new one until then thank you very much again have a great day and see you very soon cheers Hmm. All that for nothing. Drinking absinthe in the middle of the day is not always a good idea. Things gotta have cucumbers. Hmm. I feel fresh. Hmm. Hmm.